Hello, I'm Mighty Slim, and in part three of our look at how to play Flying High by Country Joe and the Fish, we're going to look at Barry Melton's uh, guitar part in the first verse and the uh, first chorus. We had previously done Joe McDonald's uh, rhythm guitar part throughout the whole song and Barry Melton's opening lead. We have links below to those. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel below, Mr. Mighty Slim, and now let's get started here. All right, so we have a figure at the beginning that goes like this. All right, so what is that? That's two sevens on the G and the B, and then seven on the D, five on the G, seven on the D. So now five, and then do it again. When you get to the five here, you're gonna hammer from five to seven on the G, and then seven on the D. So one, here it is. Then you do the first half again. Stop on the five on the G, the, the sevens that we did at the beginning. And then I'm gonna bend slightly the 10th fret on the high E string. All right, now we're gonna do it again and leave out the last half. So now we're gonna go, it's almost, it's the same thing. And then we don't do the last half, right? Uh, which is the, uh, we don't do the last half. We, we pause right there. We're gonna pause for about one bar and one sixteenth note. So one, two, three, four, one. And then the 10th fret on the high E again. All right, now we're gonna do, just like we did at the very beginning, we'll go. That we did before, now I'm gonna have a lick that goes like. So that's a seventh fret on the, uh, on the G to the uh, fifth fret on the high E, then up and back. Right, right, and then we have the uh, five on the G, and then seven to five on the G, seven on the D, and then five on the G. So there's your lick. All right, all right. Now we have. Uh, that's right. Uh, I almost almost. Almost got almost got lost there, but all right. So then we have a, we're gonna do a, like we did before. Like I said, I play this note by itself. Sometimes you might hear me, uh, you might hear the uh, B string ringing out on the fifth fret. Uh, they they both work. So right, and then we let's do, let's do it again. So like we did before, and then. And we'll do it again, and we'll stop on the fifth right here. And you hear a slight bend. And a slight bend on the seventh fret of the G five times. That's kind of, it's kind of hard to count, but that's kind of, you almost hear a, almost a slide into it. And a, and a very slight bend up on the fifth fret, excuse me, the seventh fret of the G. All right. And now we're gonna go, and I went flying high all the way. So we're gonna go. All right, so what is that? We're gonna slide in the ninth fret of the G. I'll, 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 I'll explain the numbers and then we'll, we'll put it together. So nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. So. That's it, so. Right, nine on the G, and that was a eight on the B, and then I'm gonna slide to the 14th fret, 14th fret on the G, to the 13th fret on the B, and then I'm gonna go. So that's the 15th fret on the B, bent up, pick, uh, that's the B 15th fret, pick the 15th fret on the high E, and then bend it back down. So, 
And then I'm going to go. It's a real fast there. So that's 15. 15th fret on the B. Up and back. 13th fret on the B. To 14 on the G. And then you do it again. Only at the... So... So... We have... When you do it again, right? We do it again. I'm uh, I'm gonna go back to the 13 on the B, and then I'm gonna play the uh, the 14 on the on the G. So, uh, and then and then we have a leg that goes. Uh, I actually let's try it again. So. Right, so that's the eight. So eight, eight, eight hammer onto the ten on the B, to the eight on the B, and then uh, nine on the G. Nine on the B slide to the nine on the G rather slide to the G, slide to the seven. So nine to seven on the G, and then five on the G, seven on the G, and then I play these two together. Five on the G and five on the B. So, and now we have a lick that goes like that goes uh, That's right. One more time. So with that there, uh, let's see where we are on our. Uh, on our sheet here, round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. All right, so we have the. Uh, I'm gonna play the uh, fifth fret on the B and E strings. Right, and then and then uh, a quick kind of up and back or or uh, kind of up position back down to the seventh fret on the G. Right, seventh fret on the G there, and then five, uh, five on the G, seven on the D, and then five seven on the G. So, so, and now we have. This is real quick. It's kind of hard to hear. This is the best I came up with. So I'm going to pick the high E string 5th fret, click up and back on the 7th fret on the G, and then 5th fret on the G, and then 7th fret on the G there. So it really kind of gets kind of buried there. So that's the best I came up with at the end there. And then, we're, then it goes into the second verse, and uh, we'll look at the... Uh, the second verse and second chorus in our next video. And there you have it. I sincerely hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. I think it's best to do it in uh, sections. Uh, leave me a comment and a like that you uh, enjoyed the video. I found it uh, helpful. And as I like to say, to quote my old friend Norman B., we'll see you all when the future gets here. Mighty Slim, over and out.